Officers are always one of the hottest topics in Warpath. Whether you're talking about officers specifically, whether you were talking about units and then the officers maybe that you run on those units, whether you're talking about officer skills you use through the officer skill training system, in one way or another, officers are pretty much always involved in conversations revolving around Warpath. So I thought it would be a fun idea to cover the top three worst tank officers in Warpath. And if you guys enjoy this, we'll do a different video where we cover the worst artillery officers. We'll cover the worst fighter officers and so on and so forth. But I'm really excited for this. We're not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Welcome back, guys. There are three officers in particular we're going to talk about in this video, and they are the absolute bottom of the barrel worst officers that you can invest in for your tank specifically in Warpath currently. If at the end of this video you guys enjoy it, you guys learn something, get any value out of the video, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. It helps the video and the channel out tremendously. Let's see if we can get this video to at least 150 likes minimum. Let's give it a shot. If we can go over that, fantastic. 150 minimum. I think we can do it. The first officer we are going to be talking about is Death Adder. Now, he is tagged as a versatile officer. He is 100% utilized on tanks. Now, some people do kind of double dip and use him on an artillery, more specifically an anti-tank gun in the early game, but he's primarily used on tank units. Now, he is not good. In fact, he is really, really not good. In the early game, if that's kind of like what you got, you know, it is what it is, but if you have other options, which now new players coming into Warpath absolutely have other options and much better options at that than I did when I was starting out, for example, which is why I've invested in him, you know, it, it, he's just not good. You're not going to get a return on your investment with him. For example, his tactical, his tactical skill, his first skill deals damage to an enemy, damage coefficient. Keep in mind, this skill is maxed at level five and the damage coefficient is 1050. That's awful. That is awful. And there's just, I mean, there's just no, there's no value there. Now he does have a second part of that, which is inflict sundered armor, reducing the target's damage resist by 10% for four seconds. This skill also increases the damage resist of this officer's troop by 20% for four seconds and its speed by 5%. But again, those are very, very small lengths of time, four seconds. There's some officers that do longer periods of time than that. But there's also other officers like Valkyrie, for example, that also do Sundered Armor uh, damage. So, I mean, he, he just is so overshadowed now. Now, that's not to say there is absolutely not even a shred of value with the Death Adder, because there is. For example, his balance skill can be of value in the skill training system. Increases the firepower of this troop by 5% and it's HP by 15. So if you've got Death Adder statues and you're looking to just park them in one skill for the skill training system, I would I would probably have that on my radar. And then also his second skill increases the damage of this officer's troop by 15%. If I'm gonna pick between the two, I'm gonna do this skill that increases the damage by 15%. But if you're looking for a skill on an officer that you may already have an offensive skill for, so you don't want that one or you don't need that one, then I would maybe consider taking a look at this balance skill right here. But other than that, overall, Death Adder just doesn't make the cut, especially mid to late game. Even now in the early game with the other officers that are out of the, that are available out of the gate in Warpath, he still doesn't make the cut. But once you transition to the mid to late game side of things, he really, really doesn't make the cut. Next up is going to be Bloody Mary. Now, Bloody Mary, again, just like Death Adder, is tagged as a versatile officer. She is 100% a tank officer. That is pretty much what everybody exclusively uses her on. And she is just not very good. Similar situation here with the tactical skill. Her damage coefficient is... 1,050. That's that's just not good. I mean, the standard like barrier to entry now for officers is a 1,500 damage coefficient for their tactical skill when it is maxed out at level five. So when we're talking about we're we're just scraping above a thousand, you've got a significant drop off there that just doesn't doesn't even make sense. Similar to Death Adder though, she does have some skills that you can use for the skill training system. For example, her second skill, just like Death Adder increases the damage of this officer's troop by 15%. You can always have more damage on a unit that's never going to be a bad thing, so that skill can be utilized for a unit. And then also her third skill, which is a special skill, 
which is interesting because you can only use one special skill and it can only be applied to the lead officer, which makes this a little bit more strategic, I should say. It makes it harder to use or to find a place for this skill. And it's hard to find a unit that it would even really make sense on. But depending on your setup and all of your units and what have you, you can increase the speed of a, of a troop by 10%. Again, it's a special skill, which makes it a little bit harder to find a place for. But if that does make sense for your setup, for whatever reason, you do have that option. But outside of those two skills, the second and the third skill here, outside of those two skills, there's really no value in Bloody Mary in the early game now, mid game or late game. Just just not at all. Now, the last officer we're going to talk about is going to be Tiger Marauder. Now, I have gotten some pushback from some of you guys in the community about not really being a huge fan of Tiger Marauder. And here's why. His first skill, his tactical skill, you can have up to, if you factor in all of the different missiles and things like that, if you have this first tactical skill level five, then he is going to do a full on damage coefficient of 1600. You guys are gonna be able to see here, once he is fully awakened, that's going to be 400 per missile, four missiles, 400 times four, we get to the 1600 mark. The 1600 is higher than the standard damage coefficient for most officers. The issue with Tiger Marauder is that in order to get to that point, you have to level all of his skills up to level five. You have to max every single skill out and fully awaken him to be able to get that one beneficial skill from him. And that is a lot of statues wasted to get an officer that's going to do one good thing, which is his tactical skill slash awaken skill. He's gonna have a good damage coefficient, but all of his other three passive skills I mean, they're just not really good. And so in my view, if you're talking about just the whole picture, that's just not a good investment to make, period. You guys have heard me talk about on a bunch of videos and live streams for that matter in the past. If you have an option to have a firepower skill or a damage skill, take damage 100% of the time. Damage is the better option. His offensive skill here that you could theoretically rob for the officer skill system is gonna be a firepower buff of 20%. There's plenty of other damage related skills you can use for the officer skill system. So that pretty much throws this out of contention. Second skill increases the damage resist of the troop by 15%. That's very standard. Got a bunch of other officers that have similar, if not better skills than that. So that makes that not a priority. And then his third skill or his fourth skill, but his third passive skill, which is a, is a a uh, special skill, you have a chance to, when fully maxed out, recover 1% of your unit's HP per second while in the field and not in combat. Again, multiple officers have that same skill. So there's just not, you guys can see where I'm going hopefully now, that yes, he does have a good damage coefficient when you get him fully awakened. But the problem is, is you have to get him fully awakened to get that good damage coefficient. So you've just invested in three skills that are not going to help you really in any capacity to get one skill that will, but think about all of the other benefits you could have gotten if you had invested those statues in a different officer. See what I'm saying? If we go apples to apples, it just doesn't make sense. He just doesn't make sense in the big picture of things. Now, out of the three officers we have talked about, Tiger Marauder is probably going to be the highest value one of the three, but still not going to be something that I would invest in. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with my choices? Do you guys disagree? Are there any officers that you think maybe I left out of this list, or you think that maybe I should have swapped for one of these officers on this list? I would love your guys' feedback in the comments. I also hope you guys enjoyed this video, of course. I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you guys did, like I said, make sure to like the video, subscribe, to the channel it would mean a lot to me and it would help the channel and the video out tremendously and if you guys have stuck around this long in the video if you guys have access to discord and are not already in our community discord server the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below click on that link it'll take you right into the community discord server whether you're a new player and have questions want to learn some more or whether you're a veteran player and just want to come in hang out and chat with people in the community doesn't matter absolutely everybody is welcome thanks for hanging out with me on the video today guys and we'll catch you guys on the next one